Today um, was our second day doing the Winter Olympics. The first time we did snowboarding, so this time we were doing bobsleds. We had talked a little bit about potential and kinetic energy. When I put my bobsled at the top, what kind of energy does it have? Potential. Potential energy, good job. But when, it, when I actually let it go to go down, what kind of energy does it have now? Some of these kids may have never even heard of the Olympics or the Winter Olympics, so I'm just trying to give them some knowledge of that. At the same time, um, I'm doing something that's hands-on. Uh, we put little straws here so they're like handles, and then the little the guys in the middle, and then we put the um, nuts right here for weights. It came about because we were already kind of talking about potential and kinetic energy, and then I'm always like researching and looking for you know fun ideas for lesson plans, and I just happen to see something about the Winter Olympics and I thought well that's a great idea and these kids might not even know what the Winter Olympics are and a lot of them hadn't heard of snowboarding or definitely bobsledding so it just kind of introduces them to that too. Is that the front? Yeah that's the front. Well I want to make them a seatbelt though. We will. So there's those weights in the front. Okay there we go. All grades have to plan, but I like for the third, fourth, and fifth graders to actually put something on paper. So I want them to know, I want to make sure they understand what they're doing. What is the problem you're actually trying to do today? As they're actually designing and creating things in here, they're actually learning the concepts because I'm constantly asking them questions as we're going through and designing, um, as we're building, and just making sure they understand what they're doing. I learned can affect how fast the bobsleds go. I feel like um, these activities that we do in here are really going to stick in their brain and they're going to learn those concepts a lot better because of the hands-on and because how we work through the whole process. They're designing, they're creating, they're testing, they're, um, they're going back to see if they need to make any modifications to you know make it work better. 